loke he baba Give me loke he baba Journey into the music industry has been amazing. It's been humbling, you know, to see people that that enjoy what I do, that love what I do, and for my music to like minister to people or to help people or to uplift people or give people hope. It feels amazing. It's been a long time coming and it just feels good to be here and be part of this industry. Um, about international collaborations, I just feel it's better to work on conquering home first and that's why I moved to Nigeria. I wanted to connect with Nigerians, I wanted to connect with more Nigerian musicians and make more Nigerian music. So before I think about international collaborations, I just want to work with Nigerians first. Well, I'm definitely always open to working with as many musicians as I can. I feel working with different people brings out something different in you, something great that you never really see or know about yourself. I've worked with Two-Face, I've worked with Tua Savage, I've worked with Praise, Banky, M.I., Ice Prince, the list goes on, Sean Tizu. But you know, I'm always open to working with more artists and, and that's what it's about. It's about connecting with different musicians and just making great music. Creation behind the hairstyle is just me just trying to be different from everyone else. It's my unique style and I just feel as an artist you have to have something that stands out about you and when people see you they know that okay this is this person. And it's just good to be unique. At the end of the day I don't want to be like anyone else. I don't want to look like anyone else and I don't want to sound like anyone. So the hairstyle was just a piece of art. As an artist, me self, I'm art. style doesn't have a name unfortunately it was just something I came up with I used to have the regular mohawk that used to stand like this and then after I did one braid to the back and then now this it doesn't have a name unfortunately it would be I would say it's Ulua and I say this because of the impact that the song has had on me personally and then on people the listeners fans supporters, everyone that listens to the song, the, the song ministers to them differently in all their struggles, all their hustle, their day-to-day -day lives. No matter what you're doing, what type of job you're doing, when you listen to the song, it ministers to you, ministers to you and it gives you some sort of hope or just an idea that you know a brighter day is coming. Just keep working, just keep hustling and it's in God's hands. I, I believe it was just a message from God that this is something that I need to do. I, I believe he, he just put a message in me and just said, you know, just put it on a song. Put it in a song, basically, because I don't, it's not something that I planned and it's not something that I would have thought about. It's not the typical Iceberg Slim song that, you know, you would hear. I'm sure, like, 90% of the people, as soon as they hear the song, they would never think it's coming from Iceberg Slim. So it was definitely just God that just gave me a message and said, just talk to the people. Well, currently we're working on the Oluwa remix, which will be out shortly. Um, it's going to be amazing, have some dope features on there. So that will be dropping shortly. And then after that, just more singles and more videos. The next single is Ready Ready, it's going to be mad. Well, Nigerian sound, it, it's getting better. I remember when I first moved to Nigeria, like a lot of things just, it was just off for me. And, and it was weird because I, I figured that we listen to a lot of foreign music. We watch a lot of foreign TV. Like how come we can't get it right? But over the years, you know, there's more equipment being brought into Nigeria and people are being more exposed to different things and understand how to use equipment. So the sound has definitely improved and I'm, I'm happy for that because there's improvement. Why are you pursuing this music? If it's money that you're chasing, 
you're in the wrong field. If it's passion that you're chasing, just put it in God's hands. And I say this because you'll realize that every artist, you'll probably spend more than you'll ever earn just trying to be known or trying to blow. And some people just think, ah, because I see this person on TV, I want to be like this person, let me start singing. And it's never that easy. But if you're driven by the passion of it, whether you're making money from it, whether you're not, whether you're getting shows, whether you're not, whether you're doing interviews or not, you'll keep doing it. And because you're doing it for the passion, you're doing it for the love of it. And if it's really your calling, it will pay off definitely. Just put God first.